Welcome, I'll be reacting to season two, episode three of Dairy Girls. This is not a market substitute. Please support the original. Panic at Belfast Zoo today when a polar bear escaped from its... A computer. polar bear? The have launched a widespread search and have warned residents in the local area to be... Nobody sees that. If there's trouble within 20 miles of them, they'll find it. I'm sure the concert's nowhere near the zoo. But he's not in the zoo anymore, is he, Simple Sam? <laughs> He's sauntering about Belfast <laughs> without a care in the world. I keep up, Jerry. What I'm saying is that it would be quite a lot of ground for him to cover. They're quick on their feet when they want to be loved. No, me. Bastard! I'll kill her with me own two hands if I have to. Bring it on! She off. probably yes. could. Okay. We seem to have gone down a weird road here, people. I think we just got a bit confused. We don't actually have to fight a polar bear, and if we did, I wouldn't really fancy our chances because, well, they're massive. <laughs> but there's five of us. The point! So it's true. Vodka. You brought an entire suitcase full of vodka. No. There's mixers as well, not a savage. <laughs> you can mix vodka with cider, right? <laughs> We're going to the museum. Which museum? Ulster Museum. What for? A project, a history project. What about? Ulster. <laughs> she knows something is up. Of course I've got a bra on! I haven't got a bra on. Can everyone please stop saying bra? <laughs> but I can hardly parade around in just my bra, can I? I'm not Madonna. Isn't that the truth? What are you doing now? Reading her book. <laughs> the Exorcist? Now she's looking at the woman beside her. Christ, but this is heavy. Sister, no, let me. What do you have in here, girls? Uh, it's not ours. Not yours? We have never seen it before. <sighs> They're gonna think it's a bomb. Let me be clear, no one can claim this bag. Is that correct? <laughs> I think we have a code red on our hands. <laughs> Driver, pull over. <laughs> I'll smell a vodka down here, over. Oh, vodka, no. did he say? Interesting. No. <laughs> Who are they? They're just people, James. They're just people exactly like us. Except different. Yes. No! <gasps> That's actually racist, Orla! No, it's not. They are different. They're not. Well, they live in caravans, for a start. Oh, I wish I lived in a caravan. Hi, me too. Caravans are class. Can everybody stop being so racist, please? I'm a bit scared of them. <laughs> Is that racist? Yes. <laughs> Jump in. <laughs> I'm a classical head all the way, but uh, I've been banned from trading a climb burn ever since I absolutely battered that Pavarotti fan. And when I say battered, I mean intellectually. Like, but classical head? Is that a thing? Is that what we're called? I didn't know that we were that cool. I'm this way with opera too. I start crying so easily. <laughs> like, don't get me started on La Boheme. I bawl. It's terrible. What was that? <laughs> we had something! Oh my god, it's the polar bear! That's a sheep. I mean, it so obviously doesn't look <laughs> right. I am not getting back in that family shell. Woman is a maniac. Where, where is James? <gasps> They lost James. What? A polar bear. Margot Murphy's niece saw him just outside the Abracababra in cold rain, apparently. That close. I got the holy water. Sarah. The holy water? Hi, I think it worked, you know. I imagine it would, you? Yeah. I'm not convinced they were devil. Is she sparging the house with holy water in the background? I think that's what she was doing. A group of firefighters who were helping with the search discovered the animal close to the A6 between Belfast and London Derry, there you go. on a sheep carcass. Oh, that's the sheep. I'm like, I would imagine James would fit right in, because he's usually an outsider. What is going on, James? John joined the lads. Well, they just get me. And it turns out I'm a really good salesman. That's a natural. So what, you, you're a gypsy now? Traveler! Actually, a gypsy's fine. I it. Let's get an eye on! I don't really rate him as a, as a, as a songwriter, you know? Ooh. I'm sorry, John John. This is not going to work out. just crossed the line there. Play their first ever Northern Irish concert. Are they going to show them in an audience shot? We just need some cold hard proof they went to that concert. And then, by Christ, they won't know what's hit them. <laughs> there they are, yeah. Although, we didn't get to see Orla battling the polar bear, which would have been hilarious. 
This was a great episode. And I'm so glad that James finally got some time to himself to just have some fun on his own because he usually gets stuck with the girls who, well, treat him like he's English. And it had a happy ending, kind of, because when they get home, they are in so much trouble. And on the one hand, being that upset about a loose polar bear seems a bit ridiculous. On the other hand, those girls have a propensity to get themselves into trouble if it's anywhere near them. So as a parent, I would be concerned. My absolute favorite part was the woman with the van who's super into classical music, but her business is pop merch. <laughs> I'm sorry, it just, it's so funny to me. And also because it's really rare to find fellow classical music fans who aren't totally snobbish. <sighs> some people, they act like enjoying classical music is some reason that you're better than other people, which is crazy. It's just a form of music like any other. So when I go to the opera, the symphony, I constantly run into those people and I'm like, really? I mean, just because we prefer Brahms to whatever pop singer is going on right now, it does not make us better. It just makes us actually kind of stodgy, to be honest. <laughs> I'll never understand it. So good for her for just owning what she likes and being unapologetic about it. 